Hi everyone and welcome back to another exciting me production. We decided to add a uh, shopping cart to our website GorillaWordFair.com to allow other people that may not be able to use Amazon, iTunes, other things to still be able to buy Lizzie's books. And we looked at a, uh, several of the different options for carts we could add and the one I decided to end up using was eJunkie. I just want to cover a couple of reasons why I decided to go that route and then give a, a quick demo for adding a book. First thing is if you look at eJunkie's Alexa rank, it's one of the first things I always check on websites, it's about 3,000. That means they get a ton of traffic. I typed in something to Google, it was like content, digital content delivery system or something like that, and they were the number one non-ad result. So I felt really confident. Obviously they get a ton of traffic, they've got a lot of credibility with Google. If you look at their pricing right here, it's got the number of products, the storage space, and then the monthly cost. You don't want anything with an asterisk because that means no digital content. It's just like a normal traditional shopping cart. One thing I will say is I looked at a couple of different shopping cart options. And I know with Lizzie before, we've done a couple things. Normally with the internet, if you have three different files that you want to send to someone, you'll zip up all three and send it to them or make it available for download. The bad part about ebooks is a lot of times people are using devices, you know, not a computer, either an iPad or a Nook or whatever. And so zip files can be kind of a pain for them to deal with. The last thing in the world you want is someone to spend their hard earned money on one of your products and then be frustrated before they can actually use it. So what we want to do is you want to spread out and not zip it up, but have a download for a .mobi, a download for an EPUB, a download for a PDF and these other formats. That creates kind of a little bit of a problem with shopping carts, though, in that they only want the couple that we looked at, they were all the same. They want one file per what they call a product. And so the end result is, like right here, you see 40 products. So you think, great, I can put up 40 books. Now that's actually only 10 because it's four products per one book. And I'll show you why here in a second. Basically, with all of them, what they want you to do is make a product for each type of those different formats and then one additional product that's a bundle. That when they buy that bundle, they get access to each one of those other three products. So a little bit confusing, but we'll cover it right here. So you can see the shop that's in progress here on our site, Gorilla Wordfare. And I haven't even put in descriptions yet, just Oracle, Assassin, Immortal. And you can see these little Add to Cart buttons. Another reason, in addition to eJunkie having the good rank, getting a lot of traffic, I absolutely love their cart. It is by far my favorite, the one I looked at. When you're looking at a shopping cart option, you basically want something as quick and easy as possible that keeps them on the site for as long as possible. If it's really clunky, if it's really slow, slow, if it jumps around to another site that's off yours, then a lot of times people are just going to cancel. They're going to start. You want to make it as quick and easy as possible. If someone decides, you know what, they want to spend money with you, you need to make it as painless as possible for them. And so if you look at this cart right here, say someone's looking at our site and they decide, hey, I'm going to add Katie's Hope to the cart. There it is. No jumping around this and that. Katie's Hope, there's the price. They want to buy, they can click this button right now and check out with PayPal. Let's close this down. They want to add in Damien's Oracle too. Great. There we go. It's another one. And that price is actually zero right now because I was testing it. So we want to remove both of them. We remove it. Update from the cart. There we go. It's gone. So, like I said, I love that. Then if someone clicks on PayPal, then it goes to the PayPal processing. But it keeps them on. It's low. It's quick. I love it. So what we're going to do is, if you see, we've got a little add to cart buttons on everything but Immortal. I was just getting ready to add that, and I decided, you know what, let's go ahead and make a movie out of this. And so if we come right here, we've got all the different little products that we've added. So we're going to add Damien's Immortal right now. Okay. So the first thing we need to do, I'm going to come here to the uh, Seller Admin. Add a product. Damien's Immortal PDF version. We'll leave all these defaults. You can see single file download. We're going to take that off of the last one. Got all sorts of different options as far as letting buyers edit quantity, let it edit the price. If we want to do a donation model or something like that, which I think is really, really cool. That has some good applications. If we want to edit the email message that's sent when someone buys it, we can do that. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to try to keep this as quick as possible. So we've put in the description, we've entered the price. We're then going to go to submit. Upload the product file. The PDF version we wanted on this one. Going to upload it. Should take 
just a second. And there we have it. It's all uploaded and that's how easy it is to upload something to this system. So right now if we right click, right click on this right here and added that uh, into our HTML code, it would be a button to buy that product at the $2.99 price we set. Now, I'm not going to do it yet because when someone buys it, I don't want to make them choose PDF or EPUB or Mobi. I just want, if they pay $2.99, I want them to have access to all formats of the book. So what we're going to do now, we're going to add another product. We're going to call this Damien's Immortal dot Moby Kindle version. Two ninety nine price points in there from the last one. I'm not going to worry about the email or anything yet. Dot Moby upload it. There's a lot of different other options you could do in here. Add in custom graphics, custom different emails, custom things that it says or takes people to when they're done with the purchase. So I'm not going to cover any of that. Just real quick, want to show how to add because. I imagine some people may have questions about adding in multiple formats to one item. So, okay, then the Mobi's done. One more to go, the EPUB. So, Damien's Immortal.EPUB Nook and iPad version. Same settings, two ninety nine, this and that, good to go. Send in the EPUB. And these two ninety nine prices actually really don't matter too terribly much, and I'll show you why in a second. Okay, so that's all updated. Now that we've got our three versions and now we're going to actually add the final one that we're going to end up adding to the site. We're going to add another product. With all the others I've added in the uh, version in parentheses with this one, I'm just going to leave it blank. I'm going to actually send this price to 000 just for a sec to demo. I'm going to leave that clear. Okay, actually, I forgot something. Hey, hey. All right. Damien's Immortal. So this final version that I didn't going to put a version in, what I want this to be is a conglomerate of all those three previous versions. So if someone buys this, I want them to get links to those three that I just added. So I'm going to uncheck single file download that we've done for the other three and check this right here, package files from other products. So now it's going to bring me up a list of my other products. I'm going to hold down control. I'm going to click, I'm not assassin. I'm going to click the three different versions of Immortal. I'm going to click Next. These are settings right here to basically, uh, if I want to put an expiration date on these, or the link is good for uh, it's 120 hours, I think, and five attempts. But you can tweak that here just to make sure whoever downloads it has plenty of time to uh, download your product, but that the link's not going to sit there and exist forever. You can add in an HTML thank you message or whatever we want to say to the buyers. Leave that blank for now. And there we have it. So copy this code, go in here to our code for our little uh, shopping cart that we're doing, paste that into the last of the Demortal, update, okay, now we come here right now we've got no buy button on the Immortal, There we go, and add to cart, that's how quick and easy it was. If you look at something that we charge for, Damien's Assassin, there we go, two ninety nine. You see, we've got the little button here, PayPal. You can add a lot of different payment options. Google Checkout, there's a lot of different ones right now. I've just configured PayPal, so that's the button you see. If we click on this, like I said, it'll go through the normal little PayPal, pay with credit card, PayPal funds, whatever you want to do, just like you've done a million other times buying stuff online. Damien's Immortal now, I made it free just to test because I want to make sure the links are valid. So when you click, if you notice, it's not the PayPal button when we add this to the cart. If we remove Immortal or assassin, excuse me. Now the cart reloads. I love how quick that is. And instead of the PayPal button, we've just got the normal checkout button because it's free. Okay, so it takes us, obviously, we can configure this to the little free checkout. Fake name, email, complete free
free checkout. So normally it won't do this, it'll just uh, take you to the PayPal, boom, boom, but on the free you can have this option to collect the information if you want. I haven't tweaked with it yet. Like I said, I'm doing this test just to make sure that the three links add, and there we go. So someone who clicks through, pays through on PayPal, clicks continue, and yeah, I did buy something for myself earlier just to make sure it worked good on another. Now they've got three links. Click here to download the EPUB, click here to download the Mobi, click here to download the PDF. PDF download works great. Mobi download looks great. And the EPUB works too, so there we go. Now that I've verified that it's good, I'll click here to edit other products. This is my Damien's Immortal edit. The price from zero to two ninety nine. Next, submit. Okay, and then with uh, no having to go back to the code, no anything like that. You haven't even refreshed this page, but now if we click Immortal to the cart. There we go, instead of zero, it's two ninety nine in the PayPal. So absolutely love you, Junkie. You saw how quick and easy it was. You saw how smooth it was. It's really low profile. So we'll put a, a little link to it at the bottom of our store and probably in the article that we do for this video. So uh, if you're looking for what to use and you're open, it's probably worth checking out. So if you have any questions, let me know. And we'll probably do a couple more videos on you, Junkie. But I just wanted to show how to add and how to basically combine three different versions of the book into one product. So thank you.